Good morning. Today I'm going to be talking about my Swedish made Optimus Nova using an adapter for a Primus multi fuel fuel line um, and a Bernie Dog slash Blue Water Stove uh, Dog and Nova silent cap. So let's run through these things pretty quickly here. This is the Swedish made Optimus Nova, kind of the earliest version I guess you could probably get. Uh, this is the Dog and Nova silent cap, which is pretty awesome. Dog and Nova makes it really quiet, puts out a really nice flame on high and low, and all settings in between. This is the multi tool for the Nova stove. This is the magnet for the jet cleaning. You simply slide it underneath. You can you hear that clicking? That's the jet popping up and down. That's my MSR 11 ounce fuel bottle. Very handy size for a weekend. It's not really super huge, and it holds enough fuel to get through a weekend of moderate cooking. This is a aluminum square-headed Primus pump off my uh, Himalaya stove. It's a reversible pump, so you can see it says on on that side, off on that side. And um, I rebuilt this pump using some nitrile o-rings and uh, the original uh, non-return valve on these is kind of funky it's a little brass piece with an o-ring on it and I found that the ball out of a MSR uh, repair kit works much much better than trying to get a little super tiny o-ring to seal on the surface so I did that and I've had no problems with the pump ever since this is the Primus multi-fuel fuel line allows this pump to be used with white gas or kerosene and it also has threads for a butane canister so you can use butane on the Nova it's really very very cool and very handy and you follow the fuel line down to the stove and you'll see this little spacer adapter right here and that is also another blue water stove piece because the threads on the Nova are more coarse than the threads on the end of the Primus fuel line. So this adapter goes from coarse threads on the Nova to the fine threads of the Primus fuel line, allowing this setup to be used because originally this stove came with a CEJN fuel line and fitting, and I don't have a pump for that at this time. So I was looking for an alternative so I could use the Nova because it's a pretty cool stove. And I found that Blue Water Stove had them available for $15 shipped, which I thought was a great deal since I don't have the technology to make one myself. There's a stuff sack that the Nova comes in. There's my 0.9 liter Trangia tea kettle, which is filled up to, the, up to this line with water. I got my uh, Richard Petty coffee mug. Been using that a lot lately. Got a bag of Darjeeling from Dobra in Asheville. And I wrote tea leaves on it because I recently went to New Mexico and um, didn't want the TSA to think I was hauling something else. So gonna crack the valve on the pump about one turn and something else I learned from watching some of the Bernie dog videos is that uh, when you get a lot of chugging with the stove if you turn the valve almost all the way down you'll still get enough fuel to run the stove but the chugging goes away and you still have plenty of power with the stove so that was a very handy tip crack this and get some fuel for preheating. Let that fill up a little bit. Get 
some down there, and that will light this up. I'll let that preheat. Get this out of the way here. The uh, dog and over really quiets the stove down. Um, I don't actually have the original flame spreader plate from the Nova when I bought the stove off eBay. It was missing that, which is the main reason I went for the Dog Nova because I like the silent burners and that was the best option out there. So that's why I went with that. So as this is preheating, just sit here and watch it. We'll wait for that nice blue flame from the silent burner. It's a little bit cool this morning. It's been getting really cool up here in the mountains. And uh, I've been really liking it. Can't wait to go do some fall camping. A lot of leaves are changing. A lot of leaves are falling. So, gotta get out there pretty soon. I'm gonna miss it. just about finished. Another thing I learned from watching the Bernie Dog videos is that you really want the flame to be completely out before you light the stove. So it looks like they are completely out. You can hear the little hiss. And there's the flame from the Dog Nova. Still probably needs to warm up a little tiny bit. I don't know if you can hear the chugging, but you might be able to see it. You can see the pulsing. So I'm going to turn the valve down just a little tiny bit. And you still get pretty big flame, which, you know, I wouldn't want to keep my hand over there too long. Another great thing about this silent cap is that you can get a really, really low simmer. So I'm going to put this on a pretty high setting. Set the kettle on here. I'll just come back over here and watch. I really like this Nova setup. One of the things I really wanted to do was, uh, first of all, get a Swedish made Nova, not one of the later versions. And uh, one of the reasons I wanted to do that is because you can take the Nova burner housing off of the burner itself and with an adapter you can use it in a Trangia stove. And since that's mainly what I use for cooking, I'd like to use this uh, Nova Bernie dog, dog and Nova combo in a Trangia for my winter camping this year. Uh, I've been in contact with Trangia recently to find out how to get the actual adapter cups rather than just the the piece of steel adapters you can buy just about anywhere online for about 12 bucks. Um, they just don't look they just don't look right to me. They look just kind of flimsy and cheesy. I mean, I guess they work, but I'd much rather have the uh, 
the actual Primus adapter cup that Transia offers with their X2 multi-fuel burner setup. So they're getting them somewhere. I figure they hopefully sell them separately. I'm waiting to hear back from them on that. I really like the uh, possibility of using this in a Trangia, especially in the winter time. I've used the alcohol burners in the winter and yes, they do work. They just seem to go through quite a bit of fuel, at least in my experience, in the cold weather. And I do have the Trangia gas burner, which works awesome in the summertime. I have yet to try it in the winter time, so I'll probably take that out at least once this winter and see see how the butane works in the colder weather. I did take a butane stove on my trip to New Mexico and at 9,000 feet. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I could not get the stove to burn properly. Um, it was not the Trangia stove. It was a Mark Hill stove and uh, just could not get the flame to work properly but that's a whole different other story so we'll let that one go for now so again it's a optimus nova swedish made using a blue water stove adapter for the threads allowing a primus multi-fuel fuel line and fuel pump to be used on the Nova. And you can use a butane canister with this, which is really interesting. I have yet to actually try it, but uh, the couple Bernie Dog videos that I have seen have uh, been very promising looking. It looks really interesting to have that option available. So that's kind of about it. Once the water is boiled, I'm gonna throw some tea leaves in the pot, let it sit for a little while. I know that might not sit well with you tea purists, but uh, that's the way I've just been doing it lately. Just been throwing tea leaves in the pot, letting them sit for a while, and been drinking the pot over the course of the morning. And uh, it's been working out pretty well for me. Hoping to get out and do some fall camping over the next few weekends and uh, taking some different stoves. I'm going to be taking my MSR Dragonfly, which I recently purchased as well. Actually, the Nova and the Dragonfly came from the same seller on eBay in a package, buy it now, best offer deal, which worked out really well for me because I got both the stoves well, well below the price that they both normally go for individually on eBay. I believe they both turned out to be about $35 each and uh, I was really happy to get them for that price especially the Swedish made Nova which was the main reason I wanted to make the package deal with the seller in the first place. I, the Dragonfly is okay and it works really great but my main goal was to find a Swedish made Nova at a reasonable price because they tend to be somewhat expensive on eBay and I have not found one locally in any of the shops or flea markets or anything like that so I was really happy to get that. Oh uh, some of the other stoves I'll be taking out. I don't know. Been really liking the Nova a lot and um, I have a feeling it's gonna push me over the edge on some of the other stoves I've been wanting to get rid of or keep and haven't made a decision on. I think this is really gonna push me towards getting rid of some other things that I just, I like for sure, but uh, I'm just, I'm not gonna be using now that I've got this Nova with the silent cap, since the silent cap works so well. Let's see if we can uh, tilt this a little bit and maybe get a shot of the flame. Pretty darn quiet. I'm less than a foot away from the stove. And that's on a pretty high setting. So, that 
that'll be nice being out in the woods in the morning and not having this massively loud stove. Especially a stove like uh, the Cronus Himalaya is really loud. And I'm sure there's a silent cap for that, but I'm not sure I want to make an adapter for that. Or get a, an adapter for the Tranges. So, it's been a few minutes. Whoa! And that's definitely boiling. So I'm going to take the pump and just flip it over to the off position. I'm going to take this off because this takes about a minute or so for the flame to die down. And one of the things I like to do is keep both valves cracked on the stove and on the pump so that all the air in the in the cannon and the fuel bottle will bleed out so that if I do need to take the pump out, I'm not um, not dealing with pressurized gas spraying all over me. So again, the bottle has been flipped, took the kettle off, and I'm just going to let this burn out. And then I'm just going to let the air drain out of the, out of the fuel bottle. So, thank you for watching. I realize I'm not the most skilled camera person. I hope I've showed you everything you wanted to see. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. And I will try to answer them as best I can. And that's it. They can still, hopefully, you just catch a little bit of the hiss of the air coming out. Off to make some tea.